How's it going guys and welcome back to another Just Cause Free video and today we do have some pretty insanely awesome new information and some ideas as well. So with that said I can promise you it's going to be an absolutely awesome video but if you guys could punch that like button that would be absolutely insane I'd love you guys even more if you did that and yeah let's just continue right into today's Just Cause Free video. So if you didn't already know, Game Informer did have a podcast with the creative director for this game and it was I believe like 40 minutes or something but to me it was quite interesting to listen to so if you guys want to go ahead and listen to the whole thing, I will link it for you in the description below but we got to find out a bit more about Rico who is returning in Just Cause 3 and of course is the main character. And we found out that this time he's not going to have the same voice actor as he did back in Just Cause 2 but the creative director didn't exactly state whether it's going to be better or not because I guess that would kind of be harsh to the last voice actor but considering he didn't I would automatically assume that he is. Now this time in Just Cause 3 we are meant to get to know Rico a lot better than we actually got to back in Just Cause 2 and even the first one because we didn't exactly know who this guy is. All we knew is that he was pretty crazy but a really fun character to play as but this time the creative director did state that all the main characters within the game are going to have their own relationships going on. For example Rico himself is going to have like a best friend and other different relationships with the character which I personally think is a really good thing because it just kind of gets to that main point how we are meant to get to know Rico a bit more and to me it just makes the story a bit more interesting as well. Now he didn't really want to give anything away and more about Rico himself but he did say that we can grapple anyone anywhere in the sense of like their chest their legs and I don't know maybe their private parts which is gonna be quite fun actually and it just adds that little craziness as well. Now besides that he did say that he wants us the players to have as much fun as we do on land on the sea as well because there is going to be like a big ocean in this game quite similar to how it was in Just Cause 2 and back in that game it actually did look quite nice but there was literally nothing to do like absolutely nothing I mean the only fun thing you could do was like grapple someone to your boat and I guess just drag them along the sea that was kind of fun but apart from that there was absolutely nothing to do I mean you could go underwater but again there was nothing there so it just was kind of boring and it just almost seemed pointless. That's just my opinion anyway but in Just Cause 3 he did say that there are going to be waves and a few other stuff that will actually test you when you are on this and that's literally all he said. So this is the part that kind of got me thinking okay we're going to have a big ocean, it's on next gen which means they can add a ton more stuff than they could have on the last gen systems and of course we can probably go underneath water so what about underwater wildlife? Because this is something that we didn't have in Just Cause 2 and considering Just Cause 3 is going to have a lot more detail, why can't there be whales and sharks and a bunch of other crazy animals, I don't know maybe like exotic ones such as turtles and stuff like that in this game because I think this would be really really cool actually. Just imagine being on your boat like a speedboat or something along those lines and then grappling like a shark or whale for instance to your boat and then just dragging them all the way to shore. How fun would that be? To me that'd be absolutely insane so this is definitely something that I want to see in Just Cause 3 and if you guys have any underwater animals that you would like to see definitely share them with me down in the comment section below I would love to hear your ideas as well because overall I do think this is something really needed because the game is meant to focus on the open world in general so yeah I really hope Avalanche Studios have put this in the game but I guess we can only wait until next year and I do personally believe that we are going to see the first ever trailer or maybe gameplay sometime in January. But I'm going to go a bit more in depth on that in another video. And with that said, that does unfortunately bring today's one to an end. If you missed earlier, it was about Batman Arkham Knight. So if you're interested in that, go ahead and check it out. There is a link in the description below. And if you are new to this channel, thank you for stopping by. Please do go ahead and hit that subscribe button below if you will like to stay up to date with more just cause free news along with other upcoming open more games. That would be absolutely amazing. I'll love you forever. And with that said, I'll see you guys in the next video. But as always, I hope you are having yourselves a super awesome day. And stay awesome, stay beautiful, and adios amigos.